You want 2K rumors and news? You in the right place. Want a community that's cool? You in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and ring the bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation. We all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo, Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. So you don't know. Your boy Brutal him on the scene, wicked and mean, with a next video for y'all, man. So we don't get straight to the news, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Making a push for that 200k, it's on the way. And I think this is a much-needed conversation, bro. Let me start by saying, I know a lot of people call this game trash. Let me respond to all y'all right now. Y'all are completely right. Yes, I said it. Yes, Bruce said. Oh, Bruce went back on his word. No, I did not. I did not. I still have fun with the game. I still think this game is solid. Do I think the game is trash? No. But you are totally entitled to your opinion. So you are right. Ain't no way I could tell you how to feel about the game. That would be crazy. And unfortunately, more people says the game is trash than the game is good from the feedback I've been getting. So guess what? You are probably right. I'm probably wrong. I'm going to still enjoy the game. It is what it is. But can we agree on something, though? That at the launch of this game, at the beginning of the cycle for NBA 2K24, this game had the potential to be one of the best 2Ks of all time. And after a few patches, the devs dropped the ball on this one. Can you put your opinions in the comment section on that? That's what I feel. At the end of the day, the devs drop the ball on this one. Which leads me to this conversation that Dan Work started on Twitter. He tweeted this out. It's clear that he just came from the random wreck because that would have you tweeting stuff out like this. I ain't gonna lie, Dan Work. I've been there. He said, I see why Mike Wayne can't make the game too challenging. He said, everyone would be trash. Got dudes with 93 ball can't hit wide open. Got mother effers with 94 three ball bills shooting 34% from three. Dudes would be so ass they probably wouldn't even bother playing. That's why everything is intentionally easy now. Trying to make sure everybody can have fun when they get on the game. And the crazy part is a lot of N-words still find a way to be cheeks. This song like somebody just got out of the solo wreck. <laughs> a feature that we requested, by the way. <laughs> and trust me, that work, I've been there. Now, this is one of the reasons why I never really got on that skill gap conversation train. Because I understood where it came from. It came from a lot of people who already had a huge skill gap over everybody else. Who, who had a huge separation from everybody else i'm talking about the better people in the 2k community saying 2k we need something else to separate us even further from these peasants from these casuals that's where the skill gap conversation came from <laughs> i'm just being a little harsh of course but y'all know what i mean by it, right so i never really got on their train because i understand as a company it might not even benefit 2k to create a game that's really challenging for the average joke they still need a game that the average person can get out there and still dunk on somebody or shoot the D3 once in a while. Just let them feel good about themselves. So I understand from a company's perspective, you might not want to do it. Then the conversation started like, okay, so since you can't do it across the board, let's put it in Prime and Antioch, <laughs> which we're going to get to real soon. Now, somebody responded, Weapon X responded to Dime Work and said, that's why there needs to be a difference in Pro-Am. Now, I'm sure he had a little spell check thing or autocorrect thing, so this is probably not what he was trying to say, but he was trying to say they should change difficulties as you play higher comp. The 2K should apply the same to Pro-Am as a whole or by division, he mean gold, silver, etc. Now, Downwork responded just how I will respond. I ain't gonna front with you, Downwork. Seem like great minds think alike. He said, they did that this year, and the comp players complained that it was too hard. Pro Man Antiop had tougher sliders, so even the guys who are supposed to be the better players aren't up for the challenge either. The community is an absolute joke. Then they wonder why the devs disappear for eight months. 
and I saw that happen. And I was so surprised, my G. I got to be honest with y'all. I was so surprised. Because as I said before, there was a huge conversation. There were huge threads of people saying, yo, make these game modes harder. And what I saw was comp players. Not only comp players, I saw 2K League players raging about how hard it is. I'm like, this is what y'all wanted. Y'all wanted these game modes to separate y'all from the average Joe. Which means if the average Joe come in here, y'all would thump on them so hard Pause. That's just song a little pause. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's song a little pause right there. That they wouldn't want no parts of those game modes. And then they would wag their tail and run all the way back to the casual game modes, which is wreck and park. That's what they requested. But when 2K listen and try to apply it, <laughs> oh hell no. <laughs> hell no. Now that was one part of the conversation. This is the next part right here. Where Trucker Duncic, I definitely butchered the name, I ain't gonna lie to you. But he tweeted this out and said the game is pretty ass right now, to be honest. He said, there's 20,000 catch and shoot animations and releases. The direct response said, yo, never understood why people complained about animation variants. It's a simulation game. You're not supposed to catch the ball the same way every single time. That's part of the skill gap. Learning the animation is part of what makes the game more authentic. Oh my God, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you preaching to the choir, my G. When I saw this, I'm like, this is why, I'm, this is why I mess with that work right here. I was one of the few people that liked NBA 2K23 variable shot timing system. I like we understand why they put it in the game, right? Because of we found out there are a bunch of cheaters, and all if something is the same, it's very easy for them to add these cheating devices. Very easy. Out of that, in my opinion, created a skill gap in the game, one that we got, but we didn't know that we needed. Which is now you literally have to pay attention to your animations at all time. You can't just go on muscle memory anymore. That sounds like a skill gap to me. And I struggled at the beginning, but eventually I learned it. I found a cue that worked for me. And no matter what, once I'm paying attention, I'm locked in. And it, even the contest system made sense to me. If somebody's closing out in real life, guess what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to get the shot off as quick as possible to counteract the speed that he's closing out on me. So 2K put the system in place. If somebody's closing out, he's going to speed up the jump shot. But people complain. Again, I'm one of the few people, I know this is not a popular opinion, but I prefer the shooting system in 2K23 versus 2K24. Now, IB, I'm not gonna butcher his name. He responded and said, I'm cool with the speed ups when getting contested. I hate the random slowdowns. I don't get that at all. Then Dynework responded here, and this is the one we'll end with with him. He said the speed ups are what we had in 23 and the start of 24. The slowdown stuff only started because people forced Mike Wayne or Mike to remove the variable shot timing. So when he did that, he probably messed with something else. Now we don't know if it's slow or a fast release. Exactly why I begged them to reverse the patch when it happened. It's like shooting in the dark when he gets contested. And I'm just now kind of understanding it again, but it's still Weird. And I agree with this tweet 110%. I remember when Casino tweeted at Mike Wayne, at Baluba, please don't nerf or buff anything. The game is playing amazing right now. Pro play is going great. It's actually a very competitive game now. I remember Mike Wayne responded and said, there are no plans to buff or nerf anything when it comes to on-court gameplay for at least a couple months. We're only looking to address game breaking issues and obvious bugs at this point till this day i remember that tweet and it hurts i know a lot of people like to call mike Wayne a liar i'm not i think he believed it in the moment but it only took like a week or so before certain things start happening to the gameplay <laughs> it only took like less than a month before they started touching stuff that affected the gameplay and it was downhill from there, man. So I have some advice for Mike Wayne. Please, please stand 
on business for the next 2K. There's always going to have people that find problem in all aspects of the game, whether it's dribbling, whether it's shooting, whether it's whatever be the case may be. Make sure and do enough tests before release. So when you put out your product, you can put it out with some confidence, enough to stand on it, man. Enough to stand on it. Even before you put out patches, you should be testing these patches to the extreme because how many times you all put out patches on something and it affects something else? Clearly, you all didn't test the patches out enough. Clearly, you all didn't test these patches out enough. How many times, and I think that happened this year with the shooting, they put out a patch for something and it affects shooting to the point that it pissed off damn near everybody in the community and it was downhill from there. And they barely recovered when it comes to the community support after that. I'm not saying the numbers are off. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying the numbers are off. Because I don't know y'all numbers like that. Y'all put out numbers. I understand how it is with marketing. I understand how it is with shareholders. Y'all put out numbers and I know they say man lie, woman lie, numbers don't, but eh. <laughs> I know some accountants that would disagree with that. So I'm not going to go by numbers. But when you go with the pulse of the 2K community, stand on business. Stand on business. Do the work before. Measure five times before you cut once. That's what I need you to do, man. Even you got to pull out beta, it makes sense. But in my opinion, this 2K has the most potential I've seen out of any other 2K before I watch it crash and burn before my eyes in terms of what people think about it, man. Let me know your thoughts. Great conversation, Dying Work, man. Appreciate you, my G. You all know what it is, man. It's all love. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Till next time, how blessed one. Be safe out there, y'all. Peace.